So Joe Biden has pulled off like some historical shit. He has pulled off the first double flop of the 2020 primaries. This is historic, y'all. Like mark this day. What is it like June 8th? Yeah, on June 8th, Joe Biden pulled off the first double flop. It's incredible. It's incredible. So he did it on the issue of abortion, specifically the Hyde Amendment. Now, for those who don't know what the Hyde Amendment is, it is a federal provision that ensures that federal dollars do not go towards abortion. This was a big issue back in the days of the Planned Parenthood fights when we were trying to ensure the Planned Parenthood uh, was able to give reproductive technology to people who desperately needed it. It had nothing to do with abortion because the Hyde Amendment was in place. The Republicans were saying, well, you know, we don't want to, it's, it's an issue of morals and principle. You know, federal dollars can't go towards abortion. We can't fund abortion. Well, dipshit, no money is going towards abortion. The Hyde Amendment is in place. However, real pro-choice advocates, real progressive advocates who have a spine on this issue, they have stood out against the Hyde Amendment for as long as it's been around. However, Joe Biden does not have a spine on this issue, as we have started to see recently. So for most of his political career, he's been supportive of the Hyde Amendment. A lot of centrist Democrats have also been supportive of the Hyde Amendment. However, what you're starting to see now is that abortion rights have become a huge national issue. You've seen Georgia, Alabama, Missouri all going after reproductive rights. People are not happy about it. They're standing up and fighting back. So he's been under a lot of pressure about this position of supporting the Hyde Amendment and banning federal funds for abortions. And what we're starting to see is a flip-flop, a double flip-flop, and it is amazing. It is amazing that he really thinks he's gonna get away with this. So again, I'll break it down. Uh, so about a few weeks ago, as I said, for his whole career, he supported the Hyde Amendment. However, a few weeks ago, we got a question asking what his position on this issue is, and he said, he kind of hinted at the fact that he was against it. And then right after, flop one initiated, right after his campaign said, well, actually, no, no, no. Uh, he he kind of misheard the question. There was some shit in his ear. He he didn't really understand. Uh, aliens are coming. We we didn't really understand. Joe Joe misspoke. Uh, he actually supports. It. You know, it's a, it's a really principled thing. You know, it's in his Catholic faith. <laughs> okay, so this was a few weeks ago, and then fast forward a few weeks to today. Joe Biden is speaking at a DNC event in my home city of Atlanta. And he says, for many years as U.S. Senator, I have uh, I've supported the Hyde Amendment like many, many others have because there was sufficient monies and circumstances where women were able to exercise that right. If I believe health care is a right, as I do, I can no longer support an amendment that makes that right dependent on someone's zip code. <laughs> so he just completely flops. He I said a double flop. I think it's a triple flop. No, no, no. Okay, so first, he supports it most of his career. Then he comes out against it in, in a town hall event. Then his campaign pulls the double flop. And then he flopped again. That is triple flop. One, two, three. <laughs> what the fuck? And he really thinks, like, he honestly believes he's going to get away with this. I, I think that's amazing, bro. I think that's amazing. Like, he genuinely believes you can just triple flop in the days of social media, in the days of the internet, in the days where we actually know what candidates say on a daily basis. You, Joe, this is not 1982. This is not 1995. These are days when people actually fact check what you say. People can actually see the extensive record. People can hold you accountable. Power can no longer go on with lies and shameless cheating and just go on with reckless impunity. That is not the way politics works anymore, Joe. It's 2019. So if you are gonna now triple flop on an issue, you're gonna get eaten alive. And he's gotten eaten alive. I, I'm loving some of these responses on social media. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. This guy is an establishment tool. He is a tool of power. He's in a tool of the political establishment, the corporate establishment. He does not have a spine. Now, maybe on a personal level, Joe is not a bad guy. But as a politician, 
This is a bad politician. This is a person who does not have a spine. And what we have to do in this 2020 election cycle is show it to the entire establishment that this will no longer be tolerated. You cannot triple flip-flop on an issue and get away with it. You cannot triple flip-flop on one of the most important issues of the current political climate and get away with it and still poll at 30% and still nab the Democratic nomination. You can no longer do that. We have to prove that because they have gone on with impunity for the last few decades. This has been a corporatocracy for the last few decades. A Princeton University study proved that this is an oligarchy, that the opinions of the general public do not matter. That can no longer go on. They, our politicians now have to now hold to a golden standard where they are honest, where they are genuine, where they have a spine and where they actually listen to the concerns of the people. So when millions across the country march and stand up for their reproductive rights, Joe Biden should no longer be allowed to flip flop, to triple flip flop on that issue. We have to make our voice heard. That is our goal for this 2020 election cycle. Don't let this motherfucker get away with this type of stuff. This should no longer fly. Plain and simple.